This is the Balkan Adventures podcast, everyday life and experiences in the Western Balkans. And welcome back to the island of Chiovo, um, not too far away from Trogir and Split on the Adriatic coast. Another gorgeously uh, sunny and warm day. I'm sat here uh, on my own uh, at the moment. Um, Tamara's niece... Uh, Victoria and her father have uh, arrived from Banyaluka. They came yesterday around about lunchtime. And Victoria is going to stay with us. I'm just going to move my... There you go. Move my microphone a little bit. It's nice, isn't it, to have, like, the little background noises. Yes, so Victoria is going to stay with us till we wrap up what we're doing here. And we'll all go back to the Banyaluka area together, I think, Tam's dad will be here for about two or three days getting his legs up Um, he's one of those guys that um, although he's retired has has to be uh, active all the time he doesn't being inactive doesn't sit too comfortably with him but uh, I noticed this morning when when we came out um, to have breakfast outside that he'd already stretched out um, and was enjoying himself so I hope that uh, he gets three days of rest and recuperation and a, and a bit like us except for him it'll be a micro reset we're, we're, we've come for a, a physical um, yeah a bit of a mental and, 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 and physical um, reset as you most probably found out in the last podcast thank you very much indeed by the way for uh, everybody that's been listening to the podcast, uh, I looked at some statistics online and uh, I was over the moon, actually. Um, and two people in particular, shout outs on this podcast to Robert Law, good friend of mine who lives um, in St. Johann, I think, in uh, the Tyrol region. Is that right, Robert? Of Austria. And D. Trifunovic, who is uh, in um, maybe the United Arab Emirates at the moment. Um, her husband comes from the region, and uh, I think she's originally from South Africa. Um, and they both asked, uh, or answered my question, rather, from the last podcast, you know, what, what, what would you like me to talk about? What, what would interest you? And they both sort of like uh, asked the same, or requested the same topic, which is, what's it like for somebody like me, to want to come and be here permanently in the Balkans and the Western Balkans and about what it is that drives especially younger people to want to leave the region and that's whether it's Bosnia, Herzegovina, Serbia, Croatia, Montenegro, Macedonia, Slovenia or whatever maybe not so much Slovenia but um, so in the next week or two or three uh, I'm going to put my head uh, a little bit more to that and give you my opinion on it Uh, I'm not an expert by any shakes of the imagination but um we'll do that so robert d thanks a lot for that and uh i'll be answering those questions and if you have a question about the western balkans living here or you know anything like that then please just you know you can ask via twitter uh, you'll find us on twitter an englishman in the balkans no sorry i'm david bailey mbe on twitter um but hey you'll find you'll find us somewhere um and there's plenty of places to ask questions you know facebook comments or tweets or whatever and and i'm sure that i'm going to pick them up and i will um react to them the only thing is as you may have guessed by reading the blog and rules on the facebook group etc i don't do politics i don't do serious politics i don't take sides um and i don't want to get involved in any of the um, sort of local flavour arguments, if I can put that as politely as possible. Um, uh, a lot of emotion in this area, and that emotion can certainly burst out into lots of negativity. And I'm not into negativity at all. And it was quite interesting talking about negativity. Um, we had uh, we went around to somebody that we've met here. He's also from Banyaluka, or, no, from Makonich grad in Bosnia Herzegovina. Originally, now he lives. In uh, Norway, he's a ski instructor. Can you believe that? <laughs> he's uh, a ski coach, slalom uh, coach in Norway. 
um, and he has a place here on the coast that he rents and he's popped back down here um, and we were talking about negativity and he's a slightly older chap as well and it's true that um, you know the older you get I think you most probably go one of two ways you either become exceedingly boring and arrogant and think you know it all or maybe a bit like me and and, and the guy that we were having pivo with um, he says what, what's the point of getting upset about things and when you do get older you see life in a totally different way um, I remember when I was a kid for example I, I was you know I saw everything was bright and rosy there's a great future and you know how it was such a a great democratic country that I lived in in the United Kingdom etc etc and you know how we could show the world a few tricks or two and now I look back and I think god they're just as corrupt as everybody else um, politicians whether they're British Bosnian Australian American goodness me even Canadians you know the one of the nicest nations in the world apparently politest nations in the world everybody's self-serving them you know hands in pockets and taking backhanders and everything so life is you know for me at the moment I don't need the negativity there's been enough of that um, in the past but uh, enough of that today I wanted to talk about phobias um, and in particular mine which does cause minor stresses <laughs> can I put it that way uh, one of those this morning Tam and Victoria and Predrag are down the hill now right on the edge of the uh, Adriatic here throwing themselves with gay abandon into the into the sea swimming around messing about and I particularly, that's the one thing I think, apart from parachuting possibly, and I've not done parachuting, it is on my bucket list, but I don't think I'll be ticking that one off. I'm terrified of heights. And the other thing I'm terrified of is, you know, I do not like going underwater. I simply don't. And it's amazing how many people just don't get that other people, you know, aren't getting a buzz out of swimming and, and doing everything else. And then there's um, lots of peer pressure that, you know, you should be doing that. Don't be so silly, anybody. And, and it goes on and on and on. And, you know, I, I'm thinking to myself, am I an odd one out here? Am I? Are there other people? For example, you're listening. Um, uh, do you go swimming? Do you like it? If you do, well done. If you don't, um, do you do it to satisfy other people's you know desires oh come on david it, you, you can get in just it's, it's easy you'll be able to cool off and it, i just don't get it i don't like it so yeah so i've taken this opportunity to record this podcast while everybody's away so yes i do get some um some a bit of peace here peace and quiet apart from the crickets hear the crickets the helicopters are back again and, and i'm sure we're going to hear one or two aircraft landing in split um but i'm going to go down um I don't know, about 10 or 15 minutes, I'm going to have a quick shower. Um, and then I'm going to take my drone down there. And, you know, while they're swimming, I, I will hopefully get close to them with the drone. I hope it doesn't drop in the Adriatic. It's a bit of an expensive toy to lose that way. And take some photographs. And I love the sea. I like looking at it. I think the, the color of the Adriatic here is gorgeous. Um, I've always been fascinated by ships. I don't mind going on, on large ships, small ships. Uh, even rigid raiders I've been on those you know these sort of special forces boats these big rubbery things that go like poof, 100 miles an hour down, down down a lake or whatever all that is great it's just that I, I don't get off at all on you know wearing next to nothing getting a bronze body um, I've tried it in the past uh, I tried it finally for the last time in Ockrid about poof, how many years ago was that about nine years ago spent a whole day with friends and Tam and we were sat on the edge of Lake Ockrid um, and I'm under an umbrella because they said David you know keep in the shade and I, well yeah sun umbrellas do not uh, protect against UV I ended up like a lobster um, if you saw the photograph that I put with the last podcast you'll see that I have a red um, foam filter on, on the microphone and I think I was worse red than that and it was absolutely bloody agonizing um, having to lie in bed at night and, and people trying to put yogurt on me and everything trying to cool me down so I don't get off on on that I don't mind wearing a t-shirt I really really don't um, I enjoy being on a beach with with friends you know having the occasional beer all that uh, but I like to do other things as well if I'm going to be down there I want to take some photographs 
um, I want to document things. Um, but on the other hand, I like to walk in the hills sometimes. Uh, I'm not a great mountaineer. Uh, I climbed um, the Ecuadorian Andes back in the early 1990s, um, up seven and a half kilometers high. That, that was quite a buzz. <laughs> whether I do that again, whether I would be fit enough to do it again is debatable. But I like that. I like walking off into the hills on my own, take a drone or whatever. But then other people that are around me say, oh, I don't want to do that. It's so boring. Um, and it's very difficult for people to accept that when I say, well, you think that me walking around doing this, that and everything else is boring. But when, when I say I find that you go swimming in the Adriatic is boring. Um, do you know where I'm coming from on this ramble? Yeah. If anybody does have uh, a bit of an issue, not negative per se, but um, finds swimming a little bit tedious, let me know. Maybe you can have a new friend. <laughs> online anyway um the aim of this uh, podcast was to talk uh, talk about that when you go on holiday what do you like to do and is you know everybody's different and i think that's absolutely wonderful because if we're all the same um wouldn't it be a boring place so the last podcast was called um helicopters in the adriatic and um i think i might put swimming why yeah maybe Maybe I'll call the podcast Swimming? Why? Or Why Me? So I just thought I'd have a bit of a, a rant. Um, and as I said, it's all about documenting uh, my life. And, you know, in a few years ago, I most probably won't remember today uh, in, in such detail. And thinking about what did I get up to when I was uh, on Chiavo? Yes, I'll be able to look back and, you know, there's my drone shots. Thank you very much for the kind comments on my dronography got a long way to go uh, i'm hoping when i do go down to the the beach in uh, about half an hour's time that i'm going to be able to pilot uh, my drone a little bit better i'm terrified of it when it goes over the the sea i just get this awful feeling it's just going to stop um, and crash down but we'll see thank you very much indeed for your time today uh, oh um my third shout out today is to jules story good old jules our stalwart follower in Australia, who is listening to the podcast on um, via her car entertainment system, I think, because she said, um, I like to listen to the podcast when I'm driving. It's better to listen to than all the other negative news that is available. Well, thank you very much indeed, Jules. That made my day. Um, and yeah, wherever you're listening to this, whether it's in the gym or whether it's in a car or you're just crashed in bed with insomnia, and this is the sort of thing that will put you to sleep. Whatever. Thanks for giving me your time for listening. Do subscribe um, through your favorite podcatcher, whether that's uh, Apple iPlayer or CastBox or uh, whatever it is. Oh, by the way, we're on Spotify as well now. So if you listen to your music on Spotify, you'll find the Balkan Adventures podcast on Spotify. So you can listen on Spotify as well. Um, please do subscribe. It, it does mean a lot. And uh, any questions and comments, um, appreciate it. This is not a, and was never designed to be a polished sort of radio program. Um, I've done that in the past as a radio presenter, um, and I think there's a place for that, and there's a place for just simple, one-to-one, -one, my thoughts, your reactions, and that's what I th that's what I personally think podcasting is for, and that's why it, it's so special so that's it i'm going to go in have a shower stick the drone in the backpack and uh, negotiate the hill down to the coast and uh, try and score another goal which will be piloting the drone a couple of hundred meters out over the adriatic i'll catch you next week stay safe bye to find out more about us and where we live, why not check out our blog at anenglishmanInTheBalkans.com. See you next time.